Hi, I'm Julia Cordova, and today I'm going to talk about gold and silver and miners. Um, but before I do that, um, I got a message from one of the Glitterati. I got a lot of um, helpful hints, so I, I appreciate that. But one of the Glitterati said, you need to have a disclaimer. And I was like, oh, maybe somebody is litigious. And if so, let me just tell you, um, this is not financial advice, what I'm giving you. Like, think of it as like entertainment, okay? And just to like be totally Cordovian about it. Uh, oh. Duh. Okay. It's not financial advice. All right, now, good. Okay, I think I figured out how to um, make it picture in picture. I'm not 100%, so hopefully this will work. But anyway, let's do it. Okay. I don't know if you can see me or not. Hi, if you can still see me. I'm gonna put on my old lady glasses because y'all, I'm old and I can't see anything. Okay, now, uh, this is my gold four hour chart and I have it zoomed way out because I wanted to show you uh, when I first started to track gold, when I first actually joined Twitter about a year ago. So um, this green star here, I had said to the people who were following me then, um, was going to be the major breakout zone. And uh, in fact, that happened. Um, it was quite, quite awesome. And you can see here that I actually have been marking off the gaps as we go. Um, and some of them got filled, not, not all of them though. Um, but these pink lines here you see are the very, very old gaps. So um, in 2016, I think, I went through and I marked off every gap that had happened after the huge gold breakout from before. And so all of these pink lines that you see on my chart are actually previous gaps. And look how well they've worked. Um, you can see here, uh, right about, when was that, June 13th or so, it went in it, oh, 14th? Okay, it went and it touched like the bottom of that gap. And then it took a few and kind of do 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 retested that other previous gap that it had filled and then and i think i even said at the time it was a big freaking deal that it got over that that uh gap because that gap was so old and i find that the older the gap is the more bouncy it is so gaps are really i like tracking them i know it just adds lines to your chart and i don't I probably don't like to do that but I love tracking them and I wish there was a charting program that would just do it for me so I wouldn't have to be so OCD and do it myself. Um, and maybe there is, I don't know, maybe TradingView has a plugin that uh, detects gaps, but gap programs or chart programs, if you're listening, please will you help me and just identify gaps for me? Thank you in advance, appreciate it. Um, okay, so and at one time I really did think, because it did some kind of wedgy thing here, I really did, and oh my gosh, the the folks, the Glitterati, we were nailing these these values. We made so much money scalping this uh, <laughs> this wedge. I kind of miss it. I'm not going to lie. It was so nice. It was like boop, 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 um, like that. So um, let's see here. We were tracking the head and shoulders here, the head and shoulders here. It's like one fake out after another. And um, anyway, I brought this original gap to your attention and the way that gold broke over the price because isn't that interesting this next pink line here that was on my chart way before again since 2016 um it just hit the top of the pink line here and then bounced back down so if it's doing something similar to what happened before do you see that even the pattern is is similar like a little kind of w thing a little kind of W thing, um, if it goes above 1611.93 again, it's going way up. And I could be a super nice person and like scroll up in my chart and show you where the other pink lines are, but I'm not gonna do that. Like y'all, I'm gonna leave something to the imagination. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, no, but I will. That's, I mean, yeah, I have to be valuable to you in some way, right? I mean, other than accidentally making jokes when I'm not trying. Um, okay, so uh, it would be super interesting if it just if it just did something very similar to this little thing here on this next gap. All right, so that is gold, and it looks like just for now it's been triangulating. I mean, it's not really doing much. I would kind of say that it 
if if you squint your eyeballs, you can see a triangle here. You can see that it came and look at that. It hit my line perfectly and then bounced back up. And uh, like I said, six. if you wanted to wait and be safe, why are you waiting to be? Why are you being safe? You're on Twitter, for God's sake. Um, anyway, if you wanted to wait and be safe, I know it's like a cliche thing to say. And if it gets above the previous high, um, but yeah, if it gets above the previous high, buy it. Buy it, or I will disown you. It's glitterati. Uh, no, I mean it's it's a good thing to own, right? I mean diversification. I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know if my thing is still up. Not financial advice. Duh. Okay, let's go talk about silver now. Um, so that was gold four hour. Um, silver, I have. Uh, it's a little less busy. I know. I know. I'm confusing everybody. I got. I'm on a time frame here. So. Um, you can see here we've been tracking silver since about the same time since February of look at I have really good timing. In fact, when I first joined Twitter, I was only talking about gold for the longest time. And then I and it wasn't really but it wasn't doing much at first. So I was actually making all my money on oil and just talking about gold. And then when I started talking about oil, people were like, oh, I should pay attention. OK, anyway, we did a little inverse head and shoulders here and bull flag, bull flag diamond pattern we nailed that one and a diamond pattern can be either a topping um, pattern or it can be a continuation pattern in this case it was a continuation pattern and um, we also nailed pretty much right here we nailed the top of it right here um, because we calculated sort of what this distance was until the diamond started and then we calculated what this distance was and nailed it right about here so that was great um, and then this was the original though huge ass uh, bull flag that we hope we break out of and go to the moon but it didn't do that it kind of broke out and then went back down to my magnet lines I put a magnet line here right around the time Jada babe please don't love you okay um, I put a mm, let's just let's just continue I put a magnet line uh, right here, right about when we were at this wheelchair. So that was awesome. But I don't know if you remember, if you were following me, I had said buy it. If it comes back and hits this wheelchair, that's like the time to buy it. Did I buy it then? No, no, I did not because I was busy that day. I was watching oil. I was watching something else. I just didn't have an order in, to be frank, um, because look how perfect that was, though. That was so amazing. Um, but what I did do is I bought it. See this? This when it broke out of this flag. I even said I'm begrudgingly buying this because I really wanted to catch the bottom of that because I hadn't caught it. But anyway, I bought it on this flag breakout, put a little stop here that if it went below, you know, the flag, I was going to sell it. And then it just went and, and to the magnet line. Yay. And then it did kind of think about the magnet line a little bit and uh, finally go over. Okay. So now we've got sort of another similar setup, right? We've got another similar flag. It's a smaller flag and um, oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know. You can't probably see it because this P is in the way and I don't know how to get rid of the stupid things that investing.com puts there. It's very annoying, but I like them because it's free and it's continuous contract for the commodities and stuff, but um, it's just annoying. So look at that. So today the key pivot, I'm going to make this a little bit. Oops. The key pivot is about. So, oh, I'm, I have to make it super huge to really get this right. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, there we go. Uh, the key pivot is about 17.87. So, really, according to my own little key line here that I drew, um, it really hasn't broken out here yet, but um, I am expecting it to. I hope that it does. It, it looks like it will. Um, but I think it's, uh, you know, if you wanted to take a safe entry on it, buying above the key is uh, it's never a bad idea. You can just set a stop for if it goes back below and it might be really great um, because I do expect it to leave gold moving forward. OK, so there's that. And let's look at mining. OK, miners, um, I've been talking about JNUG since also since I joined Twitter, we made this little Inverse head and shoulders in RSI. Oh, sorry. I'm popular. Okay. Um, we made this little inverse head and shoulders in, in RSI and kind of nailed this break out here. 
And uh, let's see, I've had these lines here since forever and a day, um, which was amazing. And I'm looking at now maybe this huge head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder shape. So shoulder, head, and then another shoulder. Now I was hoping, I was truly hoping that it would come back and hit this key line. Cause for me, that'd be like, bye, 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 bye. Like bye, bye, bye. And then there was this uh, little head and shoulder shape going the opposite direction that I was tracking. Cause the actual measured move from that would be approximately just right below the key. And I was like, Ooh, if it could go down one day and hit there and then I could just buy it there and like, that ah, it would be great. But of course, when you want things to do things to go down like that, they never, it never happens. Um, so anyway, I'm kind of watching this uh, for tomorrow, this 75.17 value. And I feel like if it can get a back above what would have been at the neckline that I drew, it's going to be quite bullish and probably go again to right here. Um, and this, this value changes every day, but okay. So that's what I'm looking for. And very similarly to gold, um, you know, it kind of touched here uh, way back when and touched here again and touched here again. And if it touches here again, I'm expecting it to go ooh, rockets, rockets and moonshine um, or just the moon. But OK, whatever. Um, all right, that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful. I don't know how helpful that was, but you know what? I'm just publishing it anyway, and then you can tell me how helpful it was, and hopefully next time I'll have more time. So, okay, uh, take care. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. I don't know how to stop this, so it's going to be, like, awkward and weird. Okay. <laughs> Bye.